Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. If ever there was a time and situation for me to use the expression the pain came with vengeance, well, today in this session it was. I was pretty certain that after doing my last few sessions, at least the last two sessions of 160 kg and then 170 kg, that today I was going to go 180 kg. But the pain on my lower back, more, more specifically my SI joint, sacroiliac joint, had different ideas. It did really came back with vengeance. And I can't think of many sessions where I was this pissed off and negative. Although the pain had been lingering around beforehand for a week or so, but I have a few tricks that I use, and one of them is to do lots and lots of warm ups. And that didn't work either. By doing warm ups, I, you know, think that I'll promote lots of blood flow to the injury site, maybe. I shouldn't say injury, to the area. And uh, <clears throat> Enough adrenaline will be used to negate the effect of pain or the feeling of pain, but nothing worked. This is a compact truncated uh, video of my session. I haven't included everything, otherwise the video will be one hour long. So that is something I suppose you guys can do, uh, a long warm-up session, but did work. Has worked for me many, many times, but not today. Uh, even watching my video now that I'm doing with the voiceover, my whole appearance is so shit. My shirt, I'm wearing work shirt, full pants, and yes, the ambiance, nothing was going right. There was a big class happening right next to me. I could hear all the ladies talk and doing their workouts in a group class, which is uh, not the best thing to motivate. So, <clears throat> I. I mean, at least once or twice I entertained the idea of just walking out of the gym, but I kept going. I Very early on, I knew that I won't be able to do 180 kg, so I wasn't a slave of a number. I was just thinking I'll do whatever number I can, one set of five, maybe two, maybe three, and I'll finish. So that way, at least I moved, I did something, and that has been my principle uh, is Movement is medicine, motion is lotion. Another very good piece of wisdom I've learned from starting strength. Basically, uh, as human beings, being a creature of comfort, when we experience pain, we are going to stop doing that activity or the movement that causes the pain. It will make sense. It will make sense to choose the path of least resistance. But uh, if you keep moving, in most cases, you will have enough resilience to work through. So there are three, four things that I do. And one of them, uh, more technically, you can say load management. Or in simple words, you can say lift lighter. That's it. It is very certain and, and universal that if you lift heavy or close to your 1, 2, 3, 4 RM, the pain intensity will be there more than it will be there in a lighter way. So it makes sense. So to do that lightweight, that's what I do. Instead of 180, I went 140. Then uh, I do higher reps, which I do a lot for in my warm ups. And also, the third thing is change of range of movement. If, if you are hurting when you are going down, at the bottom of the squat, there is no point going all the way down. You just go a point where it doesn't hurt and stop and come back up. And this can be applied for bench press, for overhead press, and for deadlift. But I was a little bit more stubborn than that. Than that, I wanted to just go my full below the parallel depth. But at no point there was any time I did not feel the pain. It was always there. And uh, yes, I had to just. Take a 
swallow the hard pill, I suppose, and just say, I'm not going to add weight today. Today is not the day. Today is not the session. I just remain positive. It has happened to me many, many times that I have come across such kind of pains and niggles. Um, I hope you can see that I want to highlight that I'm not calling them an injury yet. An injury will be something that will completely stop me. So for most people who are active, who are athletes, who are players, who do lifting, they will go through, they will have most of the time some pains or niggles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Nothing was going right this session. Nothing. Forgot to put my clips. And this gym uh, that I have been for a while now, they have very fat bumper plates that even if it's a lightweight, like 140, it looks a lot. And I forgot to put the clips. So, yeah, uh, nothing was going right. Um, one thing I noticed, maybe a good thing about squatting with a camera in the front, is uh, I could see my face, the grimace, the suffering that the facial expression gives you. I, I, I've used that trick for some of my clients who experienced pain and Mostly, I would stand behind them at four o'clock position, watching their form, especially the dip. But every now and then, when they complain of pain, I like to go stand not right in the front, but let's say um, a two o'clock type position and much further away, so I'm not in their vision and disturbing them. And I watch their facial expression, and I know at what point they are getting the pain, and then I tell them, "Stop, do your movement, but you're going to stop at that point where it hurts the most." And I could see, as you will see in this set, uh, my my expressions telling me what's happening. That way, pain is is a great indicator. It is, I suppose, I can say, a useful foe, an enemy that teaches you. So this is one forty. Yes, um, it, it, I'm not being philosophical here. There are many takeaways when you have pain. You know. Uh, you don't have to succumb and surrender to it when it comes to doing your physical activity. But it does give you um, a bit of a window of what is you are capable of today. Look at that face in this session and then build on it from there. That's my learning. Uh, I've always believed that pain, like everything else in life, is temporary. It will come and go. Just like this video will come and go. So if you like this video, if you like what I have just said about pain, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, guys.